ancient apparition. Wala namang um, tawag dito healing. I guess chilling touch would be good. Cold feet, med- na, yung cold feet, yung cold feet um, na buff na rin siya uh, this meta. Or yung sa last, last patch, kumbaga. So, not 100% sure kung bakit, kung anong plano nila with this. Because, I mean, I guess Earth Spirit is uh, a decent position for already. Because in Ancient Apparition, like, he, he's like okay as a hero, as a support. Pero kapag binuwa lane mo, like, Ancient Apparition as a support could be really useless. Kung maga, pwede rin siya maging walking ultimate lang. Kana. Yo, Loiski, what's up sa'yo? Shout out sa'yo. What up, what up? Um, usually kasi yung position, um, yung naglalaro ng Earth Spirit is secret and then si Zai yung nagiging position 5. Yun yung usually na ginagawa nila or pwede rin maging Earth Spirit position 5 and then um, yung Earth Spirit and then they pick a more aggressive hero para kay um, Zai. But looking at this heroes, I'm not 100% sure we might even see a different route with this Ancient Apparition. Nakita na natin like a Dendi used to play Ancient Apparition mid. Uh, not so much to carry, but yun nga, nakita na natin tong hero na to. But I just don't see a Sumail being, uh, you know, playing this hero. Tingnan natin guys, tingnan natin kung anong balak ng EG dito. Pero they're still gonna go with their go-to strat, which is itong si Venomancer. Yo, kay Toyik, shoutout sa'yo. Kamustas, kamustas. And kay Ellie Jones 31, guys. Sal- salam, um, salamat sa pag-tune in dito sa Wombox Combo. Kamusta, kamusta? Si Ronel, go EG daw. And kay Big Slow, yeah. shout out sa'yo. What up? And Mirana, I just learned Clutch Gamers right away picking a um, Princess of the Moon. Ayon. Medyo iba din ito nakikita natin draft aside ng Clutch Gamers. They will be picking itong si Mirana nga. So this might be a middle Mirana. Not 100% sure kung... Parang ay- ayaw ko si Earth Shaker as a position for it. He could be really weak. Pero I guess kung itatanda mo siya with a real bit aggressive, um, like that carry, like si Luna or like a Gyrocaptor plus yung Frost by the Crystal Lane, it could do a lot of damage sa off laner ng EG. Um, also yung, yung ito nga, ma- ma- kombuhan ba lang siya ng um, Frost Bite, tapos follow up T-shirt. Maybe mahuli nila itong si Faceless Void ng EG. Pero yun nga, mahirap pa rin. At isi pa shoutout kay Jonas na sugarola ay Diyos ko Lord. Mukhang may bet yata si Kuya. Pero shoutout sa'yo. What up, what up? Papahati sa mga nanonood dito sa Davao City from Pepper Spray... Pepper... Ano? Pepper Spray... Spray Tea? I don't know how to say yun eh. But yun, shoutout sa'yo yung mga taga-Davao dyan. What up, what up? Kamustas? Kamustas? Isi, bakit picture lang wala bang um, yo magazine? Kung gusto nyo ako makita, like live, make sure na... Um, if follow nyo yung channel ko kasi streamer din ako. Ayan, katatype lang ni Sure um, Manuri. Ayan, exclamation point caster or exclamation point ishi is lalabas yung link sa aking Twitch channel. So make sure guys nakapalo kayo dun para makita nyo kung kailan ako mag-live and mag-stream. Ay, just color si Gorilla naman. Yo. <laughs> um, wish you nothing but the best ay yung kung ano man ginagawa. Oh. Color. Pero brood mother, guys, glad you. And I really like this pick on the side of Clutch Gamers kasi wala silang pang-handle dito sa hero na to. Like they need at least like some nuke damage or the winter wyvern and yung mga ganung supports, but they have urge spirit and ancient apparition. So kayang-kayang i-take advantage yan ng Clutch Gamers. Pero EG they will be banning um Ito ang si Anti-Mage. Aside naman ng Clutch Gamers, hinihintay pa natin ang kanilang last ban. Yo, Kikinetsky, babati kay uh, Rayy. Yan, kay Rayy. Shout out sa'yo. Oh, kasi ayaw ko naman kasi sabihing manure. I, I feel like, you know, I, I feel like he didn't make it like that, you know? <laughs> Kaya hindi ko sinabi manure. Kung, kung baga, tinagalog na lang. Manure. <laughs> Mali mo, taga. Ano mo pala yun? Papilido mo or papilido na tao, di ba? Manure. 
Asan sila kuya Nick? Yo, Pinoy cancer. Um, sige kuya Pau and si kuya Alo ang magkakasang second series natin. Tapos naman, yung EG versus VP is ang magkakas si kuya Nick. That is our third seri- series. Pero Clash Gamers will be um, completing their draft dito sa last pick nilang Shadow Fiend. Hinihintay naman natin last pick ng um, EG dito. So, ang kulang lang nila is yung hero ni um, RTZ. Sino kaya kanilang pipiliin? So, looking at their drafts, they need a hero that synergizes dito sa Void pick. I mean, actually, hero pala ni Sumail dahil Venomancer pala ito. Mali-mali. So, yun. Hero pala ni Sumail kasi nga Venomancer nga pala si RTZ. Sand King. Pero Sand King ang kanilang pipiliin. Oh, so sabi na nga ba guys, Sumail with an ancient apparition. <laughs> Juice color. So, ito na guys. Na- naramdaman ko na to. Eh. Naramdaman ko na to. Like, it could be an AA mid. Uh. I feel like EG, you know, might be trying to pull something funky. Pero ito na guys. Simula na. Simula ng ating game one. Uh, I mean, looking at their drafts, I'm I'm I am lucky favoring Clutch Gamer just because you know they they they, they look more synergized or it looks more straightforward compared uh, dito sa hero na EG. But I guess then again they have a Mirana carry. Ayon. But I guess meron naman silang Shadow Fiend, so okay din naman. Pero ayon guys, tignan natin kung ano mga yari maganda to, maganda to. So, Skullert, yung EG, pinapakaba ko. <laughs> so, ito na guys, simula na ng ating Game 1 of Best of 3 Clutch Gamers versus Evil Geniuses. Pakilala natin yung lineup natin really quick sa side ng EG, guys. So, Mail will be playing Ancient Apparition. RTZ on your Venomancer, Universe on Faceless Void, Zai on Sand King, Crit naman on your Earth Spirit. Sa side naman ng Clutch Gamers guys, it will be Fly Solo on Crystal Maiden, Armel on Shadow Fiend, Rappi on Broodmother, um, Gabby on Mirana, and then si Boombox naman will be played dito kay um, Earth Shaker. <laughs> Yung overlay nga natin, tulog pa yata si Kuya Alo. Uh-huh. Ayan na, iniba na. <laughs> Kailan kayo dyan, guys? Ayan na, mukhang maganda tong laban to. Sana, sana spectator lang ako. Hindi ako na... Hindi ako nagkakas. Gusto ko panood din to. May chips na nga ako dito, eh. Sana <laughs> yung overlay sa aking picture mo. Bakit ang ganda? <laughs> Ayos mo, kuya. Ayos mo. Pero yun nga, nakaligtaan lang saglit ni Kuya Alo. Looking at a vision na merong um, defensive ward, itong si Shadow Fiend. So, kamayang top, top rune. Si Mirana naman, or um, ang EG naman, I don't think na binlock nila. Probably just giving vision just in case na mag-decide yung clutch gamers mag-pull something funky. Pero wait lang, why is RT? RT is gonna go jungle! What? I guess it a Venomancer jungle is really efficient. Kumbaga Venomancer Venomancer jungle is really good kung mabilis yung farm mo compared to going in lane. But I guess I guess it works since meron naman silang Venomancer and then yung dalawang support din ng clutch gamers is, is sakto lang din naman. Pero one thing is for sure is kayang kaya nilang patayin itong si um, Agent Apparition anytime soon. But I don't know about this, guys. Medyo funky to, pero napakagandang blank nito kay Boombox and ang automatic mag-roll in si Crit dito trying to defend his body a little bit. Pero kitang-kita nyo naman, guys, ang um, yung bakbakan dito sa mid lane natin kasi ayaw nga nilang mag... mag... <laughs> pinag-practice na. <laughs> Grabe naman kayo, guys. Actually, it's pretty good. Like, Navi used to do it. I saw um, Dendi. Ginawa niya to dati. May, may kaibigan din ako na gumagawa nitong um, Asian Apparition Mid. And it's actually quite really good. I mean, syempre, depende pa rin yun sa katapat mo. 
Pero ito si Boom Box, yung stun will connect Pero mukhang hindi yata Oh, he tried to body block you with his body And instead, so Mail will fall down And makakasigun ng first blood itong si Earthshaker on Boom Box Nicely done Medyo... Medyo nag sobrang aggressive doon si Sumail knowing na hindi niya siguro naispatan that meron pang Earth Shaker na tumatambay pa rin sa gitna and, and nabigyan siya ng isang magandang Fisher Block and kita niyo naman guys yung kokonting uwang doon is hinarangan niya as a hero and uh, there you go na ano agad nakasecure agad sila ng first blood guys nice, lilas So, ito si RTZ, patuloy pa rin sa pa kanyang pag-jungle. Kita nyo naman, guys. He's 13 and 0 already. Kita nyo naman, um, 2 minutes into our game pa lang. So, mas efficient, mas marami nga siya nakukuha dito sa jungle. I guess this is pretty smart. Medyo na-throw din siguro yung EG with this Broodmother pick. Kaya, um, they try to counter it with a Zan King instead. So, ayun. Medyo magsasuffer nga lang dito ng konti itong si Ancient Apparition. Pero maganda rin naman yung combination nila kung mag once na makapag magkaroon na ng ultimate itong si Universe. Kung baga, um, Universe Chrono tapos AA Blast. Already enough para makasecure sila ng kill sa side ng AG. So, ayan. Mukhang babalik na si Armel. Ayan, nandito na naman si Boombox. Pero meron ng Observer Ward na dito si Sumail. So, alam niya that this is happening. Ito na. He tried to call and they want to fight this off. Mag Magpo-callback hindi. Nakaalis doon. And makukuha pa rin ang kill ng EG yung kill doon kay Shadow B na nicely done. O yung nice backup dito kay Crit. Preventing and kill dito kay Sumail. And instead, naka-transition pa sila for a kill. Ito yung nga lang yung mahirap for Earthshaker. Kapag sa Earthshaker nag-feature, um, since he's gonna come from really far, kasi nga malayo yung range yung stun, diba? Since he's gonna come from really far, uh, he's, it's gonna take time for him to get or kumapag right click. Compared kay Earth Spirit na, you have a slow, meron siyang Orb of Venom, you have, he has that initiation. Tapos na cold beat pa si Sumail. So si, um, even though na low na doon, si Ancient Apparition, kailangan niya pa rin mag-move kasi once na um, ma-free siya, ng um, tawag dito nung cold feet is delikado delikado yun but still they still transition for a kill so 1-1 one, one ang score natin ngayon guys for CS dito kita nyo naman guys he's 24 and 14 compared compared dito kay ancient apparition na um, he's 25 and 4. Kasi guys, eh, wait, it's Shadow Feed. Um, I don't know kung ilan nagkisimula yung base damage ng hero. Pero, you guys, you guys know Shadow Feed has a really low uh, base damage. Lalo na kapag wala pa siyang, wala pa siyang show, show, <laughs> soul, <laughs> show, soul, soul, soul. Pero, and itong, ha, they try to go win again. Pero, napagandang dodge dito kay Armel. And that will prevent a possible kill. Pero, nandito na si Boomba on Earth Shaker. And they will try to turn this around. Ito na yung Fisher trying to, and napagandang block dito. Pero, meron pa yung Cold Feet. And trying to dodge it off. Magpo, magpipig dito. Pero, merong um, roll out pa rin itong si Earth Spirit. So, he's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Kita nyo, kita nyo guys how cold feet is uh, putting so much pressure. Oh, pero kita nyo, AA plus and he would just solo kill the shadow team. Oh my god, five minutes into the game and he is already level six. Just cool lords. That is because meron siyang 14 deny and 36 CS compared dito kay Shadow Pin. I mean, si Shadow Pin kasi hindi siya makapag stay in one place just because dun nga sa cold feet stand. Dahil nga dun sa cold speed um, spam and cabby sa inyo guys, na, sob, na, na buff talaga ng sobra itong si Not naman sobra, pero just because yung malilit na buff with the cold speed kay Ancient Apparition made him a really viable hero. Pero wait lang, ito na ginap na siya. AA Blood and si Armel. Cold speed, yung damage, he will freeze up. Pero the damage, hindi, kulang pa rin. Oh, just to learn that tick. Ay, ay, ay! Sumail the what a G! Securing a kill dito kay Shadow Pin after nagang pa siya ng mga heroes dito. I feel like uh, Shadow Pin, you know, Armel just need to invest some stick or uh, or his tawag dito, yung infused raindrop para lang mabawasan yung damage doon. Just cooler sabi sa inyo guys, this, this AA, 
This AI, I don't know. Kung how is he doing it? Pero AA, not a bad hero, right? And then they're really being efficient. Get on naman, guys. Um, si RTZ pre farm he has 48 and 0 CS right now compared uh, dito kay Mirana with 34 and 9. Tapos naman si Zai, he's also getting a pretty good farm. Get on naman, guys. He's 47 and 4. So everybody else on the side of EG is doing pretty well. Compared like Shadow Fiend is 24 and 3. Si Crystal Maiden is 10 and 0. And then kumbaga, si Crit lang talaga ang pinakanag sa suffer sa side ng EG. So I thought they would try to go in again to the Gitna Latin and another AA Blast and Massacre na naman sila ng isa pang kill. This EG Ancient Aberration though, it's just pretty good. Yo, pa shoutout naman sa amin dito sa QC, AJ and DC. Ayan, shoutout sa inyo yung taga mga QC. What up, what up guys? From Ishi with Love. Kamusta? Kamusta? And sobrang nakakatulong din itong Observer Ward ng um, Evil G or ng Radiant side giving them so much vision dito sa my Tier 1 tower. So ito na, since sobrang, sobrang dami na nga ng chaos dito sa um, mid lane na force ng mag-jungle itong si Shadow Fiend. Si RTZ patuloy pa rin sa kanyang pag-jungle, easy peasy farm, kumbaga easy jungle. Um, looking at net worth naman ito, itong alamang nga si Sumail with 3,800 pesos na gitna. Nagkakabigay na stun siya ng tolong yung, um, Asian average niya will not connect, pero napagalang tuman ko nung coming from Universe, and that coffee will secure a kill dito kay Armel. Now naman si Boombox na next target na Evil Geniuses, ito na yung Nova trying to slow him down, but still makukuha pa rin ni Sumail with a double dominating. Naka-double kill pa siya doon. And they turned around that engagement sa gitna. Napakagandang rotation naman or awareness galing dito kay Universe. See, this is what happens when um, kapag hindi mo alam um, kumbaga, how to lane against an Asian operation. This is what happens when you don't know how to handle a weird draft. Diba? And, our, I mean, EG, they just... It's weird, but it works. And the bottom lane just go learn the happy muntik pa makuha yung caustic magpapap ba hindi nagpap na pala kanina. Pero um si Sumail naka easy peasy kill na naman na dito kay Shadow Fiend. But wait lang. At sa bottom lane, si Zai patuloy, patuloy pa rin sa pag-farm. And kita nyo naman, guys. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, nakita nila, medyo na surprise pick sila doon with a broodmother pick. So, so they, what they need to do is, kung ba they need to adjust. And they did adjust to the situation. Instead, ginawa nilang um, middle sa agent apparition, which is actually nangyari na before. I don't know about you guys. Pero, um, ginagawa din niya ng stack ko minsan, um, AA mid. Tapos, um, and then si Zai, instead, pinot nila dito sa, um, safe lane, since he lanes really well against, dito nga kay Brood Mather, dahil lang sa caustic or sa third skill niya. Tapos si Venomancer, Venomancer is just a really good jungler, and yung transition or yung adaption, yung pag-adapt ng EG sa, um, surprise draft ng Clutch Gamers, is just really good. And ito na yung AA Bless sa um, my tier 1 tower. It will not connect. And also, pero wait, tama na time pressure coming from Earth Shaker sa backside naman. Binibigyan na sa mabilis dito ni uh, Universe. Si Crystal Maiden fly. And he has to commit. Ito na nga ang kanyang Chronosphere para masecure lang yung kill dito. Pero yung Mirana Oath was there to save. Itong buhay ni Crystal Maiden na isi dan. Pero mukhang si Boombox might be a little bit in trouble. Dito sa my um, a top of fog or trees ng Clutch Gamers. So ito si Gabby still lingering around and Sumail is just completely dominating the mid lane. Ay, ay, ay. And si Universe na agapag right click and dito and I feel like Gabby might be baiting his oh, meron ba siya? Ito na yung speak double star fall pero meron nga naman siyang um I'm walk out and he's gonna be a-okay. So 
So ito na si Plyso, they're gonna try to turn out RTZ, barely surviving doon sa damage, pero andito na si Sumail. So yung AA Blast magkoconnect, and ito na yung mga wards, and Sumail already with a wicked sick. Sumail is just all over dito sa buka ng Clutch Gamers. He is top, he is middle, he is killing everywhere with his ultimate. Grabe yung galawan doon ni um, Ancient Apparition. Kakaibang level na talaga ang pinapakita ngayon ng Evil Geniuses. Pero yung Arrow, medyo hindi magandang connection yon with these two heroes. But still, they're gonna go back to farm. Ayan, since hindi gano'n naging successful yung wombo-combo nila. So, eto nga. Like, so Broodmother was, like, was a great fourth pick, you know? Pero dahil nga dito sa la, kumbaga, na fourth pick surprise ang EG. Pero si Gabby might be... Bigger than the RTZ ultimate yan. Nice leap. And Arrow will connect ka dito kay Venomancer. And it looks like Gabby. Tingnan natin. And enough ba yung damage? And sorry na. Kinukuha yung kanyang buhay. AA Blast will not connect. Yun nga lang ang masama doon. So, eto nga. May Rana will be A-OK. -okay. And I think he's gonna go dito sa bottom side. Or sa bottom jungle. Kita nyo naman guys. Wala nang mag map mapagfarma ng mga heroes ng Clutch Gamers. Isa-isa na ang tinitakeover ng EG ang jungle ng Dyer. So, ito na nag-ultimate na. Ito na yung cold feel. And I don't think Armel will be surviving yun sa damage na binigay ni Sumail and then the Universe. Grabe. Kita nyo naman guys how Universe is efficiently using his ultimate every single cooldown. Meron silang nakikill sa side ng Clutch Gamers. It's either a Crystal, I mean, Crystal Maiden, di nga lang nila nakuha, but kita nyo naman, every time na may Chrono si Universe, they're always trying to look for a kill. Kasi alam nga nila that Asian Apparition, yung ultimate niya, ilan yung cooldown, it's like 30 seconds or something? Pero to sa top lane, yeah, it's like 34, four, wait, 40 seconds. 40 seconds lang yung cooldown ng kanyang ultimate. So, every single time, he's ready to fight. He is always looking for something to kill. Or someone to kill. So, yan, 13 minutes into the game, looking at the towers. Uh, nakakuha, sa, nakakuha na ng EG yung top lane, or top tier 1 tower. Na clutch gamers sa gitna naman, meron pa rin. Um, all, all towers are still strong and standing. Para sa both teams. So, ito na, nakasmoke ng dalawang heroes. Ito na, binigyan na yung echo thumb and then pala green diver. You see, boom, back and die. Finally, maukuha nila yung kill doon dito kay Sand King. So, ito, talagang ni-rush niya. Tignan nyo yung brown boots and um, blink dagger talaga ang binuo ni Boombox. I mean, they need it. They need to make something happen dito sa mapa or they need to respond sa mga binibigay na pressure ng evil geniuses. Pero, ayan. Sa top lane, si Universe, nakikipaglaro dito kay Gabby on Mirana. Mukhang makakapag-out muna dito si Mirana with his ultimate. Pero sa bottom lane, mukhang binibigyan ni Crit. Binigyan niya lang ng Magnetite Silence. I don't think that would be enough damage. And si Crit, tignan natin, makukuha niya ba yung nila. And Sumail with another ultimate secured dito kay Rafi. Ay, ay, ay. It's like he had a vision everywhere. Pero... Um, na-deny ba? I'm not 100% sure. Ah, na-deny ni Earth Spirit. Ayan, na-deny nga ni Earth Spirit yung Tier 1 Tower sa baba. Doon, na muntik pang makakuha niyang Broodlings ni um, Broodmama. So, ito si Zayn. May ipat na niyo si Armed. Binigay na inyo yung Center Juice Cooler. Yung Arrow will connect yun dito. And ito na pang ng Frostbite. Do you ultimate ni Chris, um, the Asian Apparition will not connect and instead makakakuha pa sila and matuturn around nila yung um, kill doon kay Zai sa Sand King. So, ayan na. Si, uh, tingnan natin sa network. Tatlong, oh, actually, hindi nga tatlong course eh. Um, si Zai, kumbaga nagiging core na rin sa side ng um, Evil G. So, malaki-laki yung network or gold din ang nasecure ng Clutch Gamers sa pagpatay nila dito kay Zai. So, ito na. Alam nila na medyo may advantage pa rin ang Radiant dito sa, six, sa situation na to. And ito na nga, makukuha na nila yung Tier 1 Tower pero yun nga, open pa rin yung bottom lane. So, kailangan pa rin tignan or i-take care ng EG yung 
safe lane nila kasi si Broodmother could easily push that lane. Or kumbaga, kayang-kaya pa rin. Pero Juice Cooler is on the edge na nga dito muntik pa mga pag-leave out. Ito na yung follow-up silence to the AA Blast. And Gabby will try to TP out but no, crit pa rin ang makakuha ng kill doon. Kita nyo naman guys yung synergy and like AG is just taking over dito sa jungle ng Clutch Gamers. Meron naman ding observer wards itong Clutch Gamers but it's just, it's offensive kumbaga. Or it's in the, it's on the map na wala doon yung Clutch Gamers. Siguro they need to place more defensive ward pero ito nakasmoke si Armel and si Boombak. Tingnan natin kung makakuha ba nila yung kill dito. Pero looking at the lights, wala mo ang mag-PPP out na ang kuya mo sa base. Kasi nga naman, Crystal Maiden only has 1k health. So kayang-kayang kainin ng Beno damage itong buhay ni Crystal Maiden. So ayan nga pala guys, uh, binigay na yung first 10 kills nyo and sarado na rin pala yung game winner nyo. So, so hindi kayo nakaabot, don't you guys worry, pero para naman tayong game 2 and possibly game 3. So chill muna kayo dyan saglit. So ito na, mukhang mag-back out muna ng konti si Zion knowing na uh, medyo nawawala din yung mga hero ng clutch gamers na ngayon. So he's gonna go back to farm and everybody else on the side of EG. Medyo maglilaylo muna sila, kaya na pa sila nagro-rotate and nag-move around. And this is where nag, um, yung observer ward na nilagay ni Fly Solo is really efficient. Pero ang problema lang, I think mag -e expire na rin yata yung mga observer wards na to. So yan, since wala ganun nangyayari, quick item check lang tayo saglit. So si Sumail, meron na siya. Discolored. <laughs> right click damage. Um, right click ang kuya mo. So sa mail, meron siyang threads, mail storm, poor staff, and hand of Midas 8 minutes into the game, guys. Si RTG naman, meron siyang Aganines, Bale. Tapos naman si Universe, meron siyang power threads, um, Vladimir's and with a Claymore. Meron na siyang Claymore, so baka mag-shadow blade. Si Zai naman, meron na siyang threads, and Blink Dagger, Hood din. Um, si Crit, meron siyang Tranquil Boots, Magic One, at kapal awards. Si Zai naman ang Clutch Gamers, guys. Si Fly Solo, meron siyang Tranquil Boots, Bracer, ayan, Magic One, Infused Raindrop. Si Armel, meron na rin siyang Power, Thread, Sports Top, Ring of Acula. Si Rappi naman, meron siyang Brown Boots, Echo Saber, and Hand of Maida, Soul Ring. Si Gabi naman, meron siyang Face Boots, Drums, Acula, Magic One. Si Boombox naman, he went for Brown Boots, meron na siyang Blink Dagger, and Casual Hood. Tapos, meron na rin siyang Magic One. May pag-aasa ba ako? Yo, Jeffrey Dalangin. Kumbaga, i-appreciate mo ngayon kung anong meron ka. Pero wait lang, ito na nag-gunk. Box will not survive. And dito sa damage ng EG. So, they did secure itong Earthshaker. So, I think mas malakas na yung loob nilang kunin itong Tier 1 Tower since wala na yung threat with that um, Blink Dagger Echo Slap. So, ito na. Easy peasy kill dito sa Tier 1 Tower. And ito, inuubos na rin nila yung um, brood nitong si um, Rappi. Pero tingnan natin kung papatuloy pa rin nilang kunin itong tier 2 tower. Pero ito, nag-moonlight shadow na nga ang clutch gamers. And ito, nabispatan niya ni Zai. And wait lang, nag-dash siya. I think si Rappi lang yata nabispatan niya doon. Pero sa gitna, binibigyan nito si RTG. They even committed. Pero nakapag-ultimate doon. And every bakitan niyo naman yun. Just colors na buta pa ni Universe. Etong si Fly Solo bago siya makapag DP out. So, I guess, consolation prize para sa Evil Genius Essence na kuha doon. Pero si... Wait, sino yun? Si RTZ na kuha niya rin sa Earthshaker. Grabe naman that magic damage. Kasi si Boombax nag-TP siya sa my Pop Shrine. So, hindi siya makapag TP back to face. Pero si Rappi might be in trouble. And ito si Crit with his Magnetize. Our men trying to right-click them down. Pero sobra yung damage yun na dito rin pala. Si Gabby in Epicenter coming from Zai. It looks like nakakuha nila doon si Crit for a Rappi Brood Matter. So, ito si Sumail patuloy pa rin sa pag-right-click dito sa Tier 2 Tower sa bottom lane. And mukhang... Um, hindi magandang pangita o magandang sitwasyon to para sa Clutch Gamers sa ngayon. Ito nga looking at Teth, um, Team Network, 10k ang lamang ng Radiant tapos sa experience naman, almost 10k din ang lamang ng Clutch Gamers. I mean, ng Clutch Gamers, ng EG. 
Pero si Artizi, mo ang sisimulan niya na itong pagro-Russian. Tingnan natin yung item. Oh, meron siyang medallion. And also with his words, baka kaya niyang isolo itong Russian. Pero aabutin siya ng sham-sham or kinabukasan bago pa niya matapos ito. I don't know kung nais pa tanto ng Clutch Gamers, pero nandito na si Rafi sa may um, jungle and sa top lane ang um, pinupwestuhan na nitong si Boombox and also si Mirana, itong secret and mukhang makukuha nila yung kill doon kay um, Earth Spirit. So ito, tinulungan na. So, since nakita na nila that Mirana and Earthshaker is already on the top lane, hindi na sila uh, kinakabahan na ma-echoes lang dito sa loob ng pit. Kaya tinulungan na si RTZ na kanina pang nag-pop or kanina pa niyang balakunin itong Roshan. Pero si Zai may isipata dito si Fly Solo. Ito na, tignan natin. Do I have a backup? Meron ka bang ultimate dito? Ito na yung ultimate, guys. Coming from um, Sumail. Ito na yung Fisher. Ito yung Epi. Hindi pala niya binigay. Yung AA Blast will connect and look like Fly Solo will fall down. And another kill na naman ang nasecure dito ni um, Sumail. Yo, M. Nikolai, shout out sa'yo. What up, what up? Como estas, como estas? NCR 3Z trying to secure um, a little bit gold dito sa mga chikitings ni Brood Mama. Pero sa top lane, nabigyan na isang mabilis niya dito si Sumail. Kanina ka pa, pero may Aegis of Immortal. Ito natin kung ipapalwa ba. Is he gonna try to bait this out? Pero may Moonlight Shadow and walang detection. Pero wait lang, may sense. Wait, pinigyan na yung Echoes lang. Follow up with the star pa na dito si Crit. Sa silence dito, si Mirana. Tingnan natin, ina ba yung damage? Pero yung full speed, mukhang hindi pa napaganda. I mean, um, magandang attempt yun sa side ng Clutch Gamers. Pero si... Um, ancient Apparition Shackling is really tanky dito sa side ng EG. Oh, meron na pala siyang Hurricane Pike. Kaya naman pala. Kaya naman pala. Wait, that Dragon um, dragon Lance components medyo kumunat-kunat itong si Ancient Apparition. Pero meron tayong AA ult sa bottom lane and trying to secure Aegis Colors. Easy peasy. Pero meron bang vision si RTZ? Wala. So, kita nyo naman guys. Nakasecure ng gold. Pero nais pa tanggit si Fly Solo. And then si Armel. Binigay na yung ultimate na dito. Fly Solo with his freezing pin. Napaka ng araw kay Gabi. Yung ultimate ka lang ni Universe. Healing two heroes. And mukhang out na muna dito si... Um, Um, universe on your faceless void pero masisecure pa rin ni RTZ yung kill doon kay Fly Solo. Si Zai naman sumasari siya dito sa top lane securing itong tier 2 towers sa task ng Clutch Gamers. <coughs> Excuse me? Yo, Rog, shout out sa'yo. What's up, what's up? Ay, ako gamitin yung emoticon mo. Sayang naman. Eto na nga, Sand King with a sacred relic already. Pero si Broodmother, meron na rin siyang Black King bar. So, kita nyo naman, he was forced to get itong BKB early into this game just because dito nga sa magic damage na pinibigay ng Evil Genesis. Ayan na. Ayan, sabi sa inyo. Hype, hype is real? Bleed blue, bleed blue. Pero to, tignan natin kung anong balak ng EG. So, wala na silang Ages of Immortal. Looking at Faceless Void, and meron na rin siyang Shadow Blade. And going for Aghanim's next. So, longer duration para dito sa um, Chronosphere. Itong si Universe, ito na Moonlight Shadow. Pero nais pa na niyan with this Observer Ward ng EG. And instead, they're gonna try to bait this out possibly. Ito na, meron, ano yun, parang nakita niya, meron na pala siyang Gem of True Side. And instead, si Boombox pa ang nagang ka dito ng Radiant Side. And now, si Universe binibigan ng right click damage to Light Solo. Ito na yung ultimate coming from Sumail from the backside. Nagpap ng BKB to si Rafi. So, he will be A-OK -okay for now. But still, kailangan niya tumakbo. At ito si Sandin trying to... Slow him down, right click him down. Will that be enough? Pero yung duration, meron nga naman palang radiant. So hindi maangat itong si Brood Mama with this gem of true sight na invent agad ni Zai. So si Armel medyo na is pa yata. Pero he's gonna be A-OK and si RTZ objective gaming pa rin dito sa mga tore ng um, Clutch Gamers. <laughs> Nabangga sa padera. <laughs> Just clergy. Si um, Mirana or si Armel, 
LCR Meltaloy. Si, si Gabby, ayun, nagpa-farm sa side ng wrong Radiant ng EG. And patuloy pa rin sila sa pag-pressure sa tier 3 towers sa baba naman ng um, Dire. Tignan natin, si Crit na nakikipaglaro dito sa Glit kay Mirana. Pero mukhang nag-roll in na yung kuya mo. And everybody on the side of the game, Clash Gamers is moved up. Andito na yung ultimately um, to mail. Though will not connect, pero merong chrono coming from Pittsburgh. Two man fusion, makapag-lead out pa itong si Gabi. Tignan natin, boom back, totem. And ito na yung freezing field coming from Flying Solo. Pero of course, merong stun doon. Si Zai to cancel it out. And ito, walang pang-cancel naman si Zai sa pag-TP doon ni um, um, Boombox dahil nga ginamit niya na yung Barrow Shrek niya dito kay Crystal Maiden. Yo, what up, what up? Kuya Alo, Kuya Nick, and Kuya Pao. Pero eto na, Brood Mama will dump two fall down juice coolers. And ito na si RTG on the back. I mean, si Zai pala. Tignan natin, eto na yung Echo Slam. He really wants to get this kill. Pero si Boombox pa ang unang mamamatay. And our men will call it good game. Well played, this card. And EG will be securing our game one of best of three. Yes, colors. And tignan natin on our scoreboard. Sumail with 16k damage. And also si RTZ meron din siyang 16k damage. Pero, pero yung si Sumail has the highest net worth as an ancient apparition. Grabe, grabing galawan to coming from EG. I don't know what they have for game 2, pero aabangan na natin yan ng sobra. Huwag naman kayong mag-alala for our Filipino team. Meron pa naman tayong second game. They can still come back to that game. So, ayan guys. Chill muna kayo dyan sa glad. Ishi nga pala your caster for today. Another